We are Makilala TV, the first Filipino-American TV talk show in the New York metro area. Get to know us as we talk to the community leaders, innovators, advocates, and emerging artists who affect Filipino-American life. Christina Pastor and welcome to this episode of Makilala TV. As the Frank Sinatra song goes, love is lovelier the second time around. That may be true for some, but maybe not entirely for Emilio Quines, a retired physician, and Angie Cruz, who works as a spiritual and retreat director. They are longtime friends and colleagues in the community who found one another and got married in September this year, both of them in their 80s. As they say, love will find you anywhere and any time. It has no schedule, no deadline. In the case of Emilio and Angie, it came at the right time. When their hearts connected, they were ready. Joining Rochelle Ocampo and me in this romantic episode is our guest co-host, Loida Nicolas Lewis, who is a good friend of the couple. Welcome to Makilala, everyone. Congratulations, Doc Emil and Doc Angie. Thank you. Is it too soon to ask how married life is after only three months? <laughs> <laughs> after, Doc Emil? After two months of uh, marriage, uh, just like uh, they said, um, there's always um, the question of uh, differences, but after we compromise, oh. <laughs> then uh, back to regular love, regular yeah. love making. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that, that escalated Dog very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you fired the first shot. <laughs> Doug Angie, do you want to add to that? Do you want to amplify that? Uh, three months. Three months. I think the first three months he was testing me, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think I passed. <laughs> flying colors. <laughs> Doc Emil said something about compromise. Yes. Compromise. How is that? How is that? Um, how is that working? Um, <laughs> com well, I am I am a stickler to time. Oh, okay. He enjoys, you know, he dilly dallies. So I have to say, well, so if we are late a little, so what? So yeah. I that is compromise okay. for me. So Doc Angie, you told the New York Times in this very nice article written about you that you couldn't believe quote unquote that you would get married at 80 were you really thinking that you would remain unmarried the rest of your life yes and mm -hmm. i was happy <laughs> so so in fact i was i was planning to go to barcelona mm -hmm. and look for a, a not really a convent well a convent but to stay with nuns not to become a nun uh -huh. but to stay with nuns so that way i could be nearer manresa where St. Ignatius wrote the spiritual exercises. That is my, uh, that is what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I follow St. Ignatius' um, mm -hmm. philosophy and his spiritual exercises. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I could go there and then when there, if there is a need for an English spiritual director, it's a uh, retreat director, I, I can be can there, there yeah. and I can help in yeah. Mandresa. Mm -hmm. I, you should go to that place. It's okay. really beautiful. <laughs> anyway, Rochelle has a set of questions for you. I do. I do. <laughs> Just to get a, a little sense of who you both are. Yeah. Um, who is the better cook? I am the only cook. <laughs> the only cook. Okay. That's an easy one. How about who's the better dancer? Me. Oh, yeah. Oh. They I know their roles. Huh? Uh, they know their roles. Okay. Uh, I, because I remember seeing in the New York Times article that you actually approached Doc Angie for a dance, and then you were nervous because you're like, "Oh, people are gonna chase me and talk about this." <laughs> yeah, that time too, the first dance. Yeah, Aww. we we had a party in my place, and uh, of course, you know, those are all our friends. Yeah. And you know how, what uh, you know uh, about Filipino culture. <laughs> if they see you, you know, um, dancing with dancing. Uh, someone and. Whoa, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. But 
At that time, I didn't care. I just know that, you know, I like to dance with her. You, but you only danced with Doc Angie at that time? Or you were dancing with a lot of other things? No, I danced. I uh, see what happened during that time. <laughs> uh, the, they uh, announced that... Uh, the first dance. Uh, couples uh, yeah. will dance. And those are partners already. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, yeah. So when I dance with Angie, uh -huh. so <laughs> now <laughs> she said, now you're starting a, a, a gossip, a gossip. Or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with me, I didn't care. I yeah. just wanted to dance with her. That's right. Oh, <laughs> that's all that mattered. Yeah. Okay, I have a few more quick questions. Uh, what is the most memorable part of your wedding? Me, I would say that is when the priests were telling us about our marriage ball. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's a serious thing. And I like it because uh, of what it is, you know, in sickness and health. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, for richer or poor, poorer. Mm -hmm. And then the last part is <laughs> till death. <laughs> 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 And then uh, last one is, um, what is one word that you would describe your spouse? Both, Doc Angie. Doc Angie. To me first, I think he's the prince of a man. Okay, oh. prince. Mm -hmm. And Doc Ines, what's a one word? One word. <laughs> to describe Doc Angie. Beautiful. Oh. Talented. Beautiful. Oh, too much. I love words. <laughs> Oh, I, I like the way that you look at each other. <laughs> you do. You <laughs> couldn't really tell. It's so beautiful to see that. That's right. You have any other questions? No, no, oh, you're good. Let's go. Mrs. Lewis, yeah. you're a friend of Doc Angie. So when she told you, I met someone special, what was your advice? No, no, no. She didn't tell me. I was the one who said, Angie, <laughs> he's interested in you. <laughs> How did you, you were the one. You were the one who set them up. No, no, I did not no. set them up. We've been friends for a long time. Okay, all right. Yeah. Tell us about that moment. No, in fact, this is my question to, to Doctor Emil. Okay. Okay. When did you first? Because he's been a widower yeah. for two years. Oh, two years. Yeah. Okay, and you know, we we live separate lives, so, I want to ask him. When was the first time you thought, hmm, Angie is. Uh, Someone special. Yeah. Well, uh, that happened uh, when we attended uh, a social <laughs> event. And the Kondian, when we were there, said, I could marry you right here. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So it, it gives me some you know, thought about about Andy that it ca it's becoming serious, ah, okay, yeah. which I, but uh, after uh, a while, you know, um, before I, I met her, of course, I was going out with, you know, friends, I would say <laughs> friends, because friends. what happened is that I have to start from the beginning, okay? Mm -hmm. I've always been uh, a married guy, mm -hmm. and then when suddenly my you know, w wife uh, passed away. I was devastated and all that stuff. Yeah. I didn't want to go out or anything like that. And uh, I was living a bachelor's life for about two years uh -huh. until a close friend said, don't do that to yourself. Uh, the past is past. You have to live life. Mm -hmm. So I keep thinking, okay. So I went out dating with, uh, you know, different people, di different uh, <laughs> wi women, women. <laughs> 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 but to me, the uh, going out with them is uh, just have uh, a good time. You go to Broadway, have dinner, mm -hmm. you go home and you have a nice time. And um, one time um, I was I would say uh, in the Filipino culture, if you are going out with someone, they add things already yeah. Yeah. to what that's, it is. Yeah, that's us. So, but uh, then again, uh, they would say, um, what do they call this? Um, if you go out with girls, not only one, but Twice. several girls. <laughs> ah, okay. 
Parang playboy. So, parang playboy. playboy. Yeah. Mm. Don Juan. <laughs> so, I cannot imagine you as a playboy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened just like uh, Loida was saying about, uh, you know, about Angie and all that stuff. And then, so, it, it came to the point where I became seriously thinking about Angie. Uh, yeah. Wow. PhD, she must be a talented <laughs> woman, mm -hmm. and she's beautiful. And then yeah. I started to to see um, who are the guys that he might be dating and all that oh. stuff. And I said, nobody. I said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chance. You have a chance. <laughs> so, I said, so how did you how did you zero in on Doc Angie, and you know discarded the other other people? That was when um, we it kissed ah, <laughs> the first oh. time. <laughs> Doc Angie, um, you've never met, been married before. Is Doc uh, Emil the first man that you've kissed? Did you think I was a nun? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. This is why I want to get to know you. <laughs> no, I did not. Say, I did not make that vow okay. never to kiss a man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But somehow, um, there were, uh, it, well, at my age, what do you think? Mm -hmm. But somehow, the kiss, when I kissed, maybe two or three at the time, uh, two or, th or three men in my life, mm -hmm. because I, 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 I'm a very serious person, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't play around. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, a kiss is very important. Mm -hmm. yes. Like unless I really like the the man, it, I I would always turn turn oh, okay. <laughs> away. Mm -hmm. my, my because my grandmother told me, okay, don't get if if they kiss you, you have to marry them. Oh my <laughs> that was my I grandmother. That was okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. to me, even when I was working in the Bronx, I would say that if you kiss me, you'll have to marry me. Mm. But somehow, the men the men that the few men that I have kissed. They all turned into toads. <laughs> <laughs> so but, depressing. But when I kissed this guy, he turned into a prince. Oh, uh, that's the nice. fact the fact that Doc Emil was married previously twice was that a deterrent for you? No, no. Because I, I also believe that uh, people have to live on, but I did not think that I would be the third. Mm, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it never yeah, entered right. my head. Yeah. You know, as I've said. Uh, he was going around, he was mm -hmm. seeing other women, and, and I, I knew, I thought yeah. he had a girlfriend, mm -hmm. uh, a steady one. Mm -hmm. So, to me, well, he's a good friend. Yeah. He gives us rides, you know. He, yeah. He's very, <laughs> he's very uh, gentlemanly that way. Late at night, he would insist on taking us home, That's all mm -hmm. of us. This so. is Louis. You have a question? Well, the time that I really knew he was interested mm -hmm. was during San Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. Both Angie and I were on the altar. Okay. What year was this? For? And this was maybe three years ago ah, okay. or something. Tw I think 22. 20, 21, 22. 21, 21, 22. Okay. And so I told, uh, so we were going to have a picture taking. And then I saw Dr. Emil, just one eyes, not anybody, I only have, going straight to Angie. And I said, Angie, mm -hmm. he's interested in you. <laughs> <No. laughs> and, and that's when she said, no, 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 he's, he's got girlfriend. So, Aww. but I, I told her, just, just watch, watch. And uh, I guess from that time on, yeah. Angie started, well, let me ask, yeah. was that something that um, made you see that there might be something? Yes, because you see, I, 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 um, I respect boundaries. Mm -hmm. So I thought he had a girlfriend. But then when Lloyd kept telling me, if he has really a girlfriend, you know, why, why is he, you know, flitting around. Uh -huh. So I said, oh, we'll see. So I started thinking about it. And one thing I know, he is a very good guy. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, yeah. whether he was owned by his wife or, by, <laughs> or whether he was married or whether he was dating somebody steadily, I just know yeah. he is a good guy. Right. So when Loida said that, mm, maybe Loida is right. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe because Hey, as a friend of mine said, he is a very good catch. 
Oh, I wonder what that means. <laughs> so, Doc Emil, when you proposed to Doc Angie, did you go down on your knee? Uh, what What was it like? Tell us the proposal uh, I, mode. I would say I told her I'll marry her anytime when she's ready. Yeah. yeah. He could not get on money because he had a bad knee. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, from the beginning, when did it when did it happen and when? Uh, uh, actually, from the beginning, when we were going, at, uh, you know, a few dates, he would say, "You know, I'm really, I'm really going to marry you, so don't worry." I, you know, like uh, I am very particular about. It. As I've said, yeah. my, I grew up with my grandmother. Yeah. So it's like, uh, you know, you should not. They should not that they say. You are connected, and you know you are linked romantically to someone unless it will lead to the yeah, altar. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, in our culture, me uh, pang kama, me pang altar. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know that. Is there? Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. yes. You yeah. know that. So yeah. that was someone my grandmother. for the bed and someone for the. Yeah. No, no, yeah. that's that. I was like. Yeah. Pangkama means they're not that's serious. The, that's oh, the not old, serious. Okay. That's Sorry. the old, the old, yeah, uh, 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 old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with me. With regards to relationship, you, yeah. know, uh, you have respect, yeah. you have trust, you have honesty, credibility, and all of that. But most of all is uh, about love. How do you know you love someone? Yeah. And I went out with you know a lot of girls, but the only one that uh, made me think seriously about Angie is that she uh, asked me about, you know, how are you? How's your blood pressure? Do you take your medicine <laughs> and all of that? So, you know, She's when it comes caring. to right. when it comes to mutual love, there's the thing that they call you have kindness, yeah. caring, concern, mm -hmm. compassion. And the last thing, of course, after that is commitment. You know, yeah. getting married. So she's she's different from the rest of the other uh, people, girls that I've been going out with. We just go, go out casually and all that stuff, but no concern about how are you or anything mm -hmm. like oh. that. You just go out, have a nice time. But so that's Angie, when, that's when you different. started thinking about getting married. That's at that point. At, at that point, I said, um, Thinks um, Angie is Angie. She's a special woman, mm. and uh, she she has that what I call uh, the feeling of mutual love between ah, okay. us. Yeah. Because what of what I told you before that yeah. she's different. Yeah. Mm. She asked me about my health, mm. and you know the um, two best in investments in life is health. And wealth, right? Yeah. yeah. So and I did ask him about the wealth. <laughs> <laughs> so she's concerned about my, you know, the health, my health, and the all health that part. stuff. And so I said she's different from yeah. the because rest. she knows you have no problem with wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang. Anyway, when you told when you broke the news to your families, what were their reactions? Mm. My family was happy. My brother, okay. I have a very, my youngest brother is very close to me, and mm -hmm. uh, he he almost cried. He said because I think, I think brothers are afraid for their sisters to be alone. Oh, you know, yeah. it's like dads and moms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he was very happy, but he could not believe that I found someone <laughs> finally because he knew how choosy I was. He knew that some of the men that that mm. were linked to me. So, so uh, he he was very happy. Yeah, yeah. And Dr. Emil, how about your, your oh, what? Your, what about your family? With with me, um, my children, um, just like me with my parents. You know, um, I, I was told always to stand on your own two feet. Mm -hmm. You cannot help others without. You know, you cannot help yourself and all that stuff. And my children know that uh, I am an I independent guy, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what. They followed, uh, you know, with me, and uh, that's the reason why uh, they have their own family and all that stuff. And they understand that yes. me being independent myself, they they accepted on what 
decision I had regarding, they, you know. They warmed up to Doc Angie right away oh, yeah. when you told them. Yeah. They, they are professionals, you oh. know, they, they <laughs> yeah. understand. Uh, it, yeah. It's hard to be living alone yeah, up, that's true. after a while. Mm -hmm. And they know. Um, I was living alone. They come and visit me and all that stuff. Yeah. But it's different, you know. It can be very lonely, right? Yeah, yeah. and they do understand that yeah. uh, kind of thing. And uh, they Lewis? were... Yes. When Angie told me that she's going to meet the daughter, the only daughter, oh. two boys, two men, and one woman, mm -hmm. um, she told me that she was nervous. Mm -hmm. She was nervous. Mm -hmm. But that there was a Thanksgiving, I think. Yeah. What, was, what was the time, Angie, that you started to feel, okay, I think they uh, are going to accept me? Well, um, you, you met on Thanksgiving? No, I... She was, uh, she was going, she's was a very good cook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Angie is a very good cook. It, it was on her birthday. And uh, so I, I, I gave her a gift and I, I... Oh, no, no, the first time I met them was at, on the birthday of his son. Mm. And... Uh, that was when I was a little nervous because they were so formal and it, it, it was at a restaurant. But then when she came to, to his house on, uh, on her birthday and we were going out afterwards, I could see she warmed up a bit. Yeah. And I guess maybe, maybe she saw that, uh, you know, I would serve, that's, that's me, I, like I give you food. Mm -hmm. So I would serve him at the restaurant. So I guess they were looking at that. Yeah. Uh, that's right, that's and right. They saw uh, and didn't you cook something special? Oh yeah, and then uh, that was I think on the birthday of Emilio. Uh, I they they insisted no, we're going to restaurant. No, let's. You have mean it Junior? Here. Oh. No, no, Emilio, Emilio Ju yeah, Junior. Emilio oh, yeah, Emilio Junior. Yeah, Emilio the third. Mm -hmm. so, because he said Junior. They said oh. no, I, he wanted to go to the restaurant. No, 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 we'll cook. And somebody gave us fish, so I made uh, striped bass almondine. Mm. You know. And I made some fennel salad, and um, so I, I created you, a meal. You hosted in your yeah. house, or you and, and in chicken sauce? lollipops, oh you know, gosh, yeah. and all that. So, so we we had it at the house. Oh, I okay. think we just bought lobsters to mm -hmm. to, to, to add, and uh, maybe they saw. Yeah. I don't know what they thought of me, <laughs> like, <laughs> but they saw that I, I can be a homebody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, right. it's very difficult if you think about somebody that could potentially replace their mom that's another yeah. thing just yeah. grown adults like they're still you know mm -hmm. they yeah. they have their still. mom so still. it's it's very powerful to see that that transition of your kids mm -hmm. um with for a new woman in your life yeah i think my my question leading up to that is was there anyone like any of your friends that were against this this relationship <laughs> i don't know anyone <laughs> Who is they want, they Maybe someone who was interested you. in him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted him. <laughs> yes. Or maybe they wouldn't tell you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they tell. Well, Angie, didn't I tell you? Anyone who is sad that you're getting married is not your friend. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, really. Yeah, Loida kept true. saying that, that yeah. everybody was happy for me. Everyone, yeah. yeah. So, Christmas is coming up and there's a lot of series of holidays. What are your plans? Will you be staying home? Or will you be traveling? Well, it's too soon to, because it's uh, it will be next year, right? Not uh, no, no, this uh, this coming holiday, oh, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, this coming Christmas. They, they already planned our, our Christmas party in the uh, in the house of my daughter. Mm. Yeah. Ah, and that was for everyone the family. will be there. Yeah, the whole family will be there. Oh. That, that is December twenty fourth. Yeah. So December twenty fifth, we will. We I I want to go to my church, Saint Francis mm -hmm. Xavier. And then uh, we will have a quiet day together quiet day. on the day itself. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. yeah, I Michelle? feel like when mm -hmm. I when I first heard of your relationship, um, I felt like wow, at eighty or at you know at older age that they found love, and it really made me feel like there was hope for mm -hmm. anyone to feel like that they can find love or companionship at any age. Thank you. That was the reason why I agreed when Loida said, let's, let's have the New York Times cover it. Mm. At first, I was embarrassed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, that you have said, and he, yeah. she said it, you will give hope to the yeah. people, and, yeah. you know, and put love on a higher level. Yes. There's so much hate and toxic things out there. It's good to, to highlight something beautiful like you. Yeah. 
I, I have a <laughs> quick question, uh, Doc Angie. Are you going to get his uh, surname? Are you using his surname? Uh, once in a while, we'll put a uh, Cruz Dash Kines. Kines. Uh -huh. But most of the time, I guess I might use my, my name. Because, just Cruz. Yeah. Oh, because okay. I, You've been oh. using it for 80 years. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry, uh, we're running out of time. So um, thanks so much. So if I were to ask you, both of you, love is lovelier, dot, 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 how would you complete the sentence? Doc Emil. Love, when it comes, it doesn't matter, you know, second, third, fourth, or what, whatever. <laughs> when it comes, it comes. Yeah. And you, you just have to uh, live your life and uh, things happen the way they happen. Oh, you don't right. plan it and all that stuff. That's right. And so Doc, Doc I, Angie? I would change that. I would <laughs> say love is loveliest when you find someone who can you who, with whom you can really relate, your soulmate. Love is always loveliest. Mm. Very well said. Take note, Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> maybe I should say I should I should write my own song. <laughs> Love is lovely. Yes. We are not. <laughs> thank you so much for coming down to our show, Doc uh, Emil. Thank you. Doc uh, Angie and Mrs. Lewis. So nice to see you both um, enjoying each other's company and being so in love. Um, Mrs. Lewis, thank you for joining us and helping us pry open the life of this very <laughs> private couple. Rochelle, thanks. And to everyone who are watching us, thank you for watching.